forget, you bothersome bat. Every time you overcome my puzzles, I learn that little bit more about you. Soon enough, there will be a riddle that leaves you for dead. Alfred, the city's safe. Excellent work, sir. Gotham's villainous contingent has been brought to task yet again. You should be immensely proud of your achievements. The city is forever in your debt. It's time for nightfall. Everything is in place, sir. The battering is on its way to the GCPD rendezvous point. Let's talk to Destro. I hope whatever they paid you was worth it, Slade. God, the chance to fight you is always How nice worth to it, see Batman. You, Kent. I'm Still flattered. On that coin to make you should be. Rather than faultless when a man earns my time. respect, that means I do not rest. I devote all of my energy, everything I have. Killing him! Why? I mean, come on. Now, of course, Slade is not a bat villain per se, so. He isn't really quite a representation of Batman's own psyche, but still. And what, what's his problem, anyway? Come on. Let's see. Can we talk to Riddler now? I want to have a chat with the old guy. You were never going to win, Enigma. Tut tut, Batman. In your incessant quest for justice, you've just deprived this city of its one true genius. I'm sure we'll cope. Cope, yes. But also regress. My puzzles are the whetstone with which to sharpen your intellect. <sighs> Keep me in here and let your mind turn to mush. It will be all the easier when we reconvene. Is there anyone in here we haven't talked to? Doesn't look like it. So, away we go. Actually, is Oracle in here? Can we talk to her again? I don't think so. Officer Styles. There's the evidence lockup. We don't need anything in there. I suppose we could listen to the descriptions, but hey, let's not worry about that. Hi there. I imagine Bruce Wayne's gonna have a few questions to answer in the morning. Hope you've got a plan figured out. I can't shake it, Batman. What I've done. Taking a life. I, I gotta look my kids in the face. My wife. How do I do that? I don't know what to tell you, Owens. I just have to say it's not your fault. Didn't think you'd be back here. You know, now that the secret's out. Of course I'll be back. I'll always be back. What's going on here? Well, I guess there's always crimes in progress. But, I guess this is the end of a, of a legend. 100% capacity. Nice. Taking that mask off was a big mistake. You see, I don't understand what, what that min, blah, 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 militia guy's logic is. Just because I took off the mask doesn't mean I can't kick your ass any, any less than I could before. I mean, yeah, we all... It means that Bruce Wayne can be touched. But... I've, I mean, night, this operation, or proto, Nightfall Protocol, there's got to be a something in it. This isn't the end. This can't be the end. Alright, up we go. I feel like there's so many last minute things we should be doing, but I don't want this episode to run too long. And I'm also kind of... My favorite ride was probably Blackgate. I don't know. I'm, this is top three. Easy. I don't know, guys. This is it. This is the end. Ten years. And this is this is how it ends. A decade of protecting Gotham. It's done. Gotham is safe. Thank you, Bruce. For everything. Goodbye, Jim. Threats have been eliminated. It's time to roll out 
Jeez, the news moves this fast. This is Vicki Vale for GCN reporting live outside Wayne Manor following the dramatic unmasking of billionaire Playboy Bruce Wayne. sure you want to do this, Master Bruce? I've got to. It's the only way to protect them. Very well. We just saw Bruce Wayne, now known to be the masked vigilante Batman, enter his home, refusing to come... <laughs> Alfred was in there. Why? No. This can't be how it ends. This is how it happened. This is how the Batman died. Oh, no. No. A friend once told me that criminals are a cowardly and superstitious lot. That the only way to beat them was to give them something to be scared of. I understand now. As his world grew darker, so did ours. When his war ended, our lives could begin again. He set us free. To live. To love. There was an inquest, of course. Hundreds of suspects. Who killed Bruce Wayne? I guess we'll never know for sure. So what's next? Criminals are a cowardly and superstitious lot. What happens when they have nothing to be scared of? Who will protect Gotham? Now that the Batman is dead. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Run. Help me! No one's coming, lady. Take his wallet. <laughs> hey, freak! Maybe you missed the news! Batman's dead! That look don't scare us no more! What the hell? Hell yes! I don't know what this means, but... Ugh! So many conflicting emotions. I don't know. I guess it, it it's the logical conclusion to the Batman story, that sooner or later his fight's gonna reach such a point that he's gonna have to reveal himself. Or, you know, he's gonna die. Batman can't be around for us forever. But the implication, though, who who has the mantle of the bat now? Now that Bruce Wayne is dead, Wayne Manor is gone, who who could this be? Is is it Azrael? Did Tim Drake take over? Did Jason Todd put on the cowl? Did we unlock a special costume to do with something with that? Uh, oh, oh, I love that. Look at that. The seat. Seen right from the beginning of the game. So, it's time to sit back and reflect. Actually, a little concerned that this music is probably going to get slapped with a copyright claim, but eh.
what the heck, I can deal with that when it comes up. But wow! Ugh, so, so much to say, really. And, and yet I don't know what to say. Funny how that works. Looks like we're kind of getting a little slideshow presentation to let us look over everything that's happened. From the asylum to the city, maybe a bit of origins, possibly. Just as a bit of tribute there. And then finally to Nightfall itself. Uh, yeah. It's been one hell of a ride for anyone who's been following the series since the beginning. I remember way back when Ar Arkham Asylum was first coming out. I remember being really... S being really skeptical, of course. the clown prince of crime he was the next in line I was him and he was me who oh, what a joker he could be now the dark Darkness closes in. No one's laughing now. <laughs> I'm stuck in his head and not laughing. I'd be better off dead, and I'm not laughing. I beg and I plead, but he stops me laughing. If you only knew. Things I do for you, I was the ace. Oh, James. <laughs> he was my king. Oh, so what a pair suits clashed in style. It could have worked. This joker's wild! So I felt... So oh, I remember that. together, look who's laughing now. And that. <laughs> Good times. I'm stuck in his head and not laughing. I'd be better off dead and I'm not laughing. Take Robin instead! Then I'd be laughing. I'm finished, done, I'm through. All because of you. It was my final tour. Always leave them wanting more. But before. The curtain call. Make sure you try and slay them all. Nothing good can last forever. No one's laughing now. <laughs> I'm stuck in his head and not laughing. I'd be better off dead. And I'm not laughing. I begged and I pled, but he stopped me laughing. Oh, what can I do? So near yet far from you. <laughs> oh, Joker, what a drama queen. 
But yeah, like I was saying way back before the Joker started singing here, giving us that lovely uh, solo. Yeah, I remember way back when Arkham Asylum first came out, I believe I, I had just rented The Dark Knight and a commercial for it. <clears throat> what, you know, was played before the movie actually started. And I remember thinking to myself, wow, that looks really cool. But I was kind of skeptical because it had been a while since I'd played a really good superhero game, let alone a really good Batman game. And I think when it came out, there was some kind of big promo where it was like on at half price or something, which only encouraged me to get it even more because I was really looking forward to it by the time it actually came out. So, and that's what pretty much started my love affair with the Arkham, the Arkham games. And I've been pretty much following ever since. And... They haven't disappointed me as of yet. It's a big Batman fan. It it's just amazing playing these games. I I don't know. I can't describe just what a pleasure it is to play these every single time. They always leave me wanting more. And knowing that this is the very definitely final game, supposedly. I mean if I get some cash, I might have to get season pass just so I can get all the DLC, but it'll, that'll be available at some point later on, it's not going anywhere. <sighs> it, it's it's kind of sad, knowing that this is the end, that the legend of the Batman is no more, but the torch has been passed, there's a new Batman now, and the question I guess is who's under the cowl? Is it Bruce Wayne again? Has he destroyed who he was under the mask so he could be... Batman full-time, basically. Has he killed his civilian life? I don't know. What's happened? I, of course, it might not... That might not actually be Batman. It could be someone else. It could be something else. It's hard to say, really. All I know is... It's been a hell of a ride. I, I can't wait for the credits to end so we get the... Uh, Sort of after a credit splash. <clears throat> there. Getting a little choked up here. I mean, this is this is the end. Uh, and yet, I don't want it to be over. I, I don't want a new a new Arkham game right away. I think you know, two, three, maybe even four years before the next one. Just enough time so that when they do inevitably make another Batman game, maybe it won't be an Arkham game. Maybe they'll... I, well, I don't think they'd throw away the Arkham brand at this point. It's too big from a business standpoint. But, I mean, if whoever gets to make that call is ballsy enough to drop the Arkham franchise name just so we could have other names for a Batman game, but still have it in the same style, maybe even in the same universe... Of course, I guess any fervor games in this universe would have to be uh, prequels, which isn't always a good thing, because to some degree, some of the things in this game do kind of close the door to other stories, since, for instance, it's implied that Firefly never showed up again between the time of Origins and Arkham Knight, which is kind of odd. But there are still villains that we haven't actually seen on camera. Uh, how many... Dumpty, the uh, uh, Tweedle Twins, I and mean, th these are like low tier compared to some, of course, but, you know, they're still villains. Of course, Humpty Dumpty is arguably not quite a villain in the sense that he's, he's genuinely just someone who's not quite all right in the head and all, but he's not violent. Well, let's see, we, ha we have Killer Moth. I know there's some people that have been really <laughs> wanting to see Killer Moth and are probably... Just horribly disappointed that we haven't seen him yet. Uh, who else? I mean, there's guys that I can't even think of right off the top of my head. Um, a rat catcher. Again, he's not a big villain, but you could add him in. 
a Black Mask. I mean, he's been in two games now, but a game where Black Mask is actually a big villain. And if we're go doing prequels, we could have the Falcones and the other m Mafia families, since they wouldn't have been destroyed and kind of upstaged by the supervillains. There, there's, there's still plenty of room, is what I'm saying. And then, of course, there's uh, Firebug, Clue Master, uh, bleh, whatever villains can I think of. There's a lot that I know are in my head somewhere, but I can't call them to mind right away. It'd be good to see a Never uh, Bane or game with Bane in it, except done, I guess, right, you might say. There's a lot of argument about what it constitutes to do Bane right. I mean, obviously, people want to see him as the master planner who is every bit uh, an equal to Batman, who's got him on that uh, mental and physical level to be able to take both on, or both aspects there. Whoever, whatever villains are there. Why can't I think of any? Mr. Freeze again. I mean, he's been in uh, one game and one DLC so far, but you could always have more Mr. Freeze. He's a pretty cool villain. Yeah. Oh, Maxi Zeus. We haven't actually seen him. Uh, we could get Clayface in again. That would be interesting, seeing an origin story for him. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, for some reason seeing this guy, Henry Adams, makes me think of uh, uh, Wesker, the ventriloquist. Now, there's another villain who we haven't actually seen on camera. We've seen Scarface, uh, or at least a knockoff of Scarface or something like that, since apparently the ventriloquist Joker's been using is not actually a, you know, the genuine article, but still there. Um, whatever, villains. There's more. I can't seem to think of them, but I know there's more. Oh, and getting into more modern villains, uh, the Court of Owls. I guess you could fit them in there somewhere. That's actually another storyline that I haven't read myself. It's apparently really good. I haven't actually followed it, but or read it, but it's good. I probably should get into the new 52, just pick up with more recent storylines. I've pretty much... What's the latest story I have? Probably. Um, Heart of Hush, I think, is probably uh, chronology-wise the latest I have. There's lots more good stuff. So many stories, so little Actually, so there's all kinds of time. What am I talking about to read them? But anyway, uh, let's see. Well, I guess I've gone over of what they could do for other Arkham games because I, I don't want, I don't want good Batman games to be over. We don't need them every year. Don't get me wrong. We don't want anything like that happening because that would destroy, I think, the magic of these sort of games. I, I feel it kind of does that to a series in general. Maybe that's just me, but. You end up with that whole series fatigue thing. You get bored of the same kind of gameplay style and everything. If it's a yearly iteration. Because, I don't know. One Just 12 months is not nearly enough time to make dramatic enough changes and refinements, in my opinion, to, war to really make each title feel really unique. I mean, you can do it if you have, you're like alternating studios and have all kinds of crazy things, but... Even then, it, it just kind of loses something. But anyway, we're we're getting going off on tangents here. I have no idea how long these credits are going to last, so I just want to find things to talk about. I don't even know if you guys are sticking around. If you're like me, you will, because you just like sitting through the credits. Just well, just because I guess you have nothing better to do just to digest the game you've just played. Uh, so yeah, overall, let, let's, I guess, digest the story of the game. I mean, overall, it had, well, it was one hell of a roller coaster ride, and I loved every minute. 
uh, as I said, I was a little disappointed that the Red Hood, inf or Red Hood, the Arkham Knight did turn out to be the Red Hood in, and who is in, of course, Jason Todd, but that's one, that's a pretty unique way to introduce him to the Arkhamverse and all, and does build things in a manner that doesn't require a Lazarus pit or anything, it's just the Joker lying about his identity. And, or not his identity, the Joker lying about having killed Jason Todd. Oh, it looks like we're actually at the end, more or less. Wow. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess the only ever... Uh, I could come up with all kinds of things to complain about if I really tried. Wow. And there's Rocksteady, everyone. Give him a round of applause. One person clapping never sounds quite so impressive, but just, I'm imagining all you guys watching her, giving them a round of applause, and, you know, just all the work they put into making this an awesome game. Um, it, is this going to go on its own, or do I have to press a button to continue? I do have to press a button. Okay, here we go. What's, what's the story here? That's it? No! No, that can't be! Are we gonna have to go through New Game Plus in order to... ...get everything? What do we have here? We have the uh, concept art. We have our showcase of all the characters. Batmobile Mark II. Okay. The Joker Mobile. Why is this unavailable? I assume I have to beat New Game Plus for this? Ooh, that is horrifying. I, I want... Can, can I still... Yes. I want this as our skin. This isn't bad, but... I want it in black. Alright, let's see here. We have Batsuit version 8.03. We have 7.43. Uh, let's select that, shall we? What's this? Bat suit. Okay. Oh, nice. Pristine edition. Shiny. We'll, of course, have the new 52 skin. Eh, it's alright. Uh, I do kind of prefer Robin having hair, so I'm almost thinking we should... <laughs> Turn that one on. Yeah, this is something I don't quite get and don't quite like. Why did they make Nightwing have... Why'd they turn it from blue to red? Red is so much more aggressive color. I mean, that's probably the point. But I don't know. I like... I prefer the blue. Now, if I understand it right, uh, Nightwing, Catwoman, and... Robin. Here's a complaint, I guess. These are not... You can't play as these guys, apparently, just wandering around in free room. What's up with that? Uh, we're not going to go for all these guys. But, I, I guess that's going to be it. I would love to hit the Y button and get six months of exclusive content. I just don't have the cash for it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I would support you. Uh, Warner Brothers and well, Rocksteady especially. Eh, I don't really care about that. Game not... My game is functioning, thank you. Though I, I feel... I'm really sorry to hear about all those who don't. Hopefully by the time this episode airs, uh, all those problems will be fixed, and you guys will be able to play this game for yourselves if you haven't been able to already. If you're on the PC, that is. <sighs> and, and the episode just keeps on going on. So, what's going to happen now? Um, I'm probably going to go through New Story Plus on my own time. If that leads to, uh, some kind of secret extra... But actually, you know what? Let's log into the game. Let's go into the game. Just to see if there is an epilogue here. We, we, we didn't check that. The immensely proud of your achievements. The city will be forever in your debt. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. We have three upgrade points. So... Everyone's just gonna pretend what happened didn't happen, huh? I'm down for that. Okay. Is that it? Oh, oh! This is like Arkham City! We've got the whole damn place to ourselves! Also, why, why is the GCPD on fire here? But... Yeah, I, I guess there's not much else to say. I should probably wrap this episode up. We've been going long enough already. There's really not anything else to say, I guess. Other than, uh, you know, thank you all for watching. And for s those of you who have stuck through the series all the way from beginning to end, thank you very much. And let me know what you want to see next. I, I mean, I'm going to... If there's anything new in New Game Plus, I'll record that, of course. It's some kind of secret New Game Plus ending or something. We'll have to check that out. And, uh... Yeah. And, and I'll do a new series. I'll start a new series that'll probably be going up... Right... Right after I, uh... After I... I guess finish with this, I'll start doing the AR challenges and... Those will go up, and this is going to be really weird, because I'm talking to you guys from the past at this point, basically. And you're probably already going to know that I've beat the game, and all of my various plans are going on, since I'm probably going to start putting up the uh, challenge map videos immediately after I record this, and I actually start playing the challenge maps, so... I... Yes, time... Hello everyone from the past. What, what day is it when I recorded this? It is June 29th. So... Yeah. So, greetings everyone from July 29th. Hopefully it's nice out there in the future. Oh, was this why? No, I can just talk to them. Anyway, like I said, the, the series is going on. I, I just keep blabbering on. I don't want to say goodbye, but it's, now you're just it's time man. to say goodbye again. Just have to wrap up the episode, and that's it. So, as always, uh, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you're actually still here listening to this, thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.